Okay, so I'm going to show you Canva right now because you may have noticed in the previous video I was struggling a little bit to put layer over layer, which is that put that image um, on top of another image. I'm going to show you Canva from scratch and we're going to design it a little bit differently to the ones that we've been looking at of other people. Um, I mean, he's done a great job here, but and we can model that process, but we can maybe take it to another level. So let's take a look at Canva. Now, the right size would probably be something like the medium rectangle here. If you look at the dimensions, 350, 250, and at least we've got a um, consistent feel, or 336 by 280. I'm gonna try medium rectangle. Now here's where it gets interesting when this loads, is that you have templates here to your left. So you're able to come in and see if you want something, like I don't wanna go crazy with too much text. What I'm looking at here is possibly putting the words onto the picture as well. So they see it twice, or I could. what I could do is in the actual, um, here is take out the word gold coin mining and put have put it on there they'd see that already but we'll see how that looks and that's the beauty of using something like um, uh, click funnels because it helps you to have lots of choices so now that that's come up i'm going to look through here and i'm going to see something like this i quite like this it's got a nice little feel to it it's a little bit the words are big and um we can use it as a template or we could come down here and look for something what do we see probably something like this and these ones are free so I'm going to charge a dollar for the for the layout and design uh, features because they're just more fancy like this one here um, probably gonna go for something like this actually because whatever happens with the color gradient in the on here i'll have that white box behind it right in the middle and it gets the message across or i could move things across so maybe even something like this um, as you can see there's lots of choice um, but already i've got ideas of what i'm trying to trying to do there so let's go with that one see how that looks we can always change it so drag drop and now we don't we don't want the, these this bit here so we click on it and delete it because all we want is the words in the middle consistently in red or whatever color that we choose just move this out of the way sometimes layers get put on top of each other there we go just very nature of thing delete this so now we don't even have to worry too much about copying his style we're uniquely our own and now I can look at what we did and the first one we've got is coin wallets so I come back to to coin wallets to here and I type in simply coin wallets all caps is good just make the text a little just a little bit more so the s fits in done and now we've got white maybe we reduce the size there so it looks about consistent and we head over to uploads here on the left hand side and what we do is we click upload your own images and up comes um, some designs so we were going for the faucet so we're looking for that that's that one there so we're going to grab that as you see it's uploading here on the left hand side i'll just pause that while it's loading okay so the image is now loaded and all it is is touching the image and just dragging it in and it will either fit in or it will um, just take over the top now we need to get rid of each of these because they don't kind of make sense so i'll pause that while i do that okay 
So that's done there. Now one of the things we could do is click on this white background and we can change the transparency. Maybe bring it down just a bit. So it's not so blatantly white, but still visible. And we could also search for a coin as a starting point and use illustrations. And we could grab a coin or if you go to upload, I found a really nice image earlier on Pixabay, like this one. Just pop it in there. It's uploading really fast because it's a smaller image. <clears throat> okay, that's still uploading. There we go, it's just uploaded. Now I can dr drag it in, oh, a bit too big. Sometimes if you click it, it comes in as well. And we could just have that hovering on the corner there. Okay, that looks quite nice gets the message across coin wallets and we could also take a look see what else they've got here but I think that does the job it's a simple image gets it across looking nice so that costs absolutely nothing uh, there's no charges like it says a dollar here that this is a free image the backgrounds are free image uploaded that this is all free so you just press basically press uh, you can go up here give it a name uh, coin wallets so in the future inside your uh, Canva account you can just find stuff a lot easier press download and we can recommend it we can put take it in JPEG or PNG um, we're gonna let's do JPEG um, I usually do PNG but really the qualities in this situation is pretty much the same in fact the size will be a slightly smaller so now I head over to um, coin faucets, press this image uh, where it says coin faucets, press image, drag the image like we did before in nice and quickly. There we go. It's just about uploaded. Final processing. And voila, it's done. So now we press add image because it's highlighted automatically the last one you upload. And doesn't that look so much nicer? So I'm going to follow that identical process with the rest of these, because I think that looks really nice. So with a little bit of inspiration, we originally thought we'd copy this style. We now have this kind of style, which looks unique and different, and, and, and I think looks lovely. Um, I put coin, coin wallets in the wrong place. I'll move it over here in a second. And I'm gonna get all of these done, and I will come back to you in the next videos so we can progress.